Her Hummingbird Heart is called Her Hummingbird Heart because it references a song by Sarah Morris, Good at Goodbye, where it says the lyric, her heart has always been a hummingbird. Sarah had a story that she shared with me in our 2017 interview about what happened immediately after writing that particular lyric. She said that she went to perform at the state fair and someone really liked her music and he wanted to make a strap for her guitar. When this person did eventually make a strap for her guitar, it had a hummingbird on it. He hadn't heard that lyric. And so Sarah was sharing with me that she interpreted this receiving of a gift of a guitar strap with a hummingbird on it as a kind of seal of approval that she was on the right track. Similarly, shortly after that, Elizabeth Gilbert came to speak in town and Sarah went to see Elizabeth Gilbert speak and Elizabeth Gilbert had this theory that some creative people are like hammers and they keep on hammering away at one idea, whereas others are like hummingbirds and they go and do something over here and then they fly over there and they aerate the culture and cross-pollination happens. This idea of being like a hummingbird and the magic of the hummingbirds, the ability to fly from one place to another and then magically have this moment where one discovers that one is exactly where one is supposed to be. My book, Her Hummingbird Heart and my record Hum, play with that idea. The song Our Hummingbird Hearts draws attention to one other crucial aspect of the life of the hummingbird. Uh, the fact that it goes into torpor every night. Uh, week eight, implore. Uh, this is called Hummingbird Hearts of Quickening. There are lots of facts about another aspect of the life of the hummingbird expressed in the song Our Hummingbird Hearts. Our hummingbird hearts are quickening from 40 to 400 beats per minute, for example. This is something that happens every morning for hummingbirds. Their heart rate quickens from 40 to 400 beats per minute from 50 Fahrenheit to 104, by day we soar in flight, by night we feed on fat we've stored. The only way that hummingbirds can survive through the night in the absence of nectar and in the presence of predators is to go into a death-like state, like hibernation, called torpor. I find it fascinating that the heart rate, the body temperature, the physiological condition of the hummingbirds radically changes each night. And it's only by virtue of hummingbirds having evolved in that way that they are able to sustain themselves. And the book, Her Hummingbird Heart, extends this metaphor of there being a certain type of creative person who is a hummingbird and integrates focus on this restful state, almost polar opposite to the primary connotation that the hummingbird has, flying around quickly, cross-pollinating place to place, just as impressive and a crucial part of the hummingbird story, enabling the hummingbird to do what the hummingbird does by day, is this nighttime activity, which is radically different. And it fits with the idea that rest is essential to wholehearted living, calm and stillness, the ability to be with one's emotions, to recognize one's patterns, so as to adapt them. I think that there's so much more that we can learn from the hummingbird, particularly focusing on the torpor state, beyond just focusing on what the hummingbird is witnessed to do by day. And I really love how one of my favorite local drummers, Ben Johnston, picked up on what the song is communicating about the shifting state of the hummingbird and encapsulated that in the drum part that he developed for the song. He uses the same bass drum rhythm, samba bass drum pattern throughout the entire song, but at three different ratios. Half time when the hummingbird is in torpor, common time and then double time when the hummingbird is in flight. We do what you delight in seeing us do by day. This is the way we sustain it. We implore you now to see us navigate the night. That illumines how we do what you 
delight in seeing us do by day. This is the way we sustain it. That song in particular is one that is dramatizing, enacting the type of oscillation between states of rest and states of hummingbird-like flight that my book, Her Hummingbird Heart, and its sequel, Integrate, Transform, Flourish, 10 Ways of Enriching the Stories that We Tell Ourselves, are proposing, we develop, if we are to sustainably commit to wholehearted living. That's what keeps us flourishing. Tell us about Torpor, it's your story, be its author. The trail is made by tracking it and working with the law. Tell us how you renew who you are. Tell us about Torpor, it's your story, be its author. The trail is made by tracking it and working with the law. Tell us how you renew. Thank you.